Intel Exim Masters 5 Hanover who does his strengths. He managed to get the first for his group. Strengths, tell us, is it, isn't it boring to doing so much interviews? No, it's okay. Uh, no, I guess it's okay. No problem about it. A little tired, no, joking, but no, it's okay. I like, I like to speak. So, uh, how it was to win, uh, to win the group? Was it very hard, like, uh, you know, you, your mind was set to win the group or it was like doing the best, doing the best and see what we'll do and see what is going to be? Uh, for me, the important thing was to win my first game against Savek because for me it was the, tough, the most difficult player. I sh for me it was the most difficult player. And uh, I was sure if I was playing him and I would win him, I would keep my confidence until the, the end of the, all the games. And um, it worked out pretty well. Then I played against Faz, it was really tough. Every game was tough. The only player I lost was Daheng. And it was really, really, really hard. And um, anyways, Avec won against Daheng. And uh, Faz surprisingly won against Kilsen. So he put me first for sure because of the map difference. Because I won 2 1. Uh, I lost 2 1 against Daheng and I won Avec 2 0. So it was pretty nice. So I'm first in group. Don't play today. I'm really tired. And uh, I play tomorrow and I hope I will be on fire for, for this and became on final for sure. I hope so. So uh, which map or which match uh, you have in mind you from the last day, you can say it was your best one. Which, can, which match you would like to show your friends or other, play, other people who play Quake? Um, uh, <laughs> well, um, um, Give me 10 seconds, I don't know. Uh, for this event, I guess Avec on GM13 because it was really tough. 3 to 2, and I had to camp camp because he was trying to come back. So it's a nice tactic to show player to know how to keep the score and how to do it. So it's better to, to show hard match to people than a match when you own someone. It's Stupid, I guess. So I would advise to watch GM13 against Avec, I versus Avec, and um, Daheng too, because I lost as well. I have to show when I lost as well. It's uh, normal, and um, I mean every game wa was so nice. I guess uh, maybe not against Wu. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, all game was pretty nice. But I would advise against Avec first of all. Yes. So, did you expect a very good uh, performance from Sparty to advance the first from the group? Um, I expected him to be top third to go through. I expected that Kura would be fourth, but I was wrong. Um, but when I came to my train, because I was not in Germany at this time, I looked to the result on my iPhone and I saw Sparty losing to Dunda King. And I was saying, oh my god, how? Did you lose it? I mean, you lose against him, uh, you're gonna be in real, uh, in bad mood against all the players. And I saw he was winning Cypher, Rafa, all the players. And uh, he became first thanks to that. And um, as he won Kuro, he became first of his group. And I became first of my group. So both were both in uh, first place. And I hope we're gonna see a final uh, between two Fnatic players. I hope it's gonna be... be <laughs> I hope it's gonna be really good. Okay, so... Uh, tell me, tell us more about your training because you are very known from your very good aim for very taking good position. How did how did you manage to do to learn it? Uh, first of all, about my training. Um, when there is no tournament, I just play sometime during Sunday uh, during Zotac because there is nothing to do and you have the chance to win 100 euros. So I'm asking myself, why not train? And it works. Uh, about between uh, when there is tournament, I play a lot. Uh, I play a lot the last uh, week against Cooler and uh, some other people, but most of the time Cooler because I think is the most player I need to train with. Because for me, as a player who use m the most his brain, his style works pretty well for me. And uh, I guess uh, I always a hard time against him. So for me, it's the best train I can have, I can get. And uh, that, that's it, I guess, that's it. Okay, so no special, no special tricks to make, in, to improve aim, to improve tactical? 
choosing situation when to be aggressive <laughs> or not aggressive. So playing plus forward, yes? Huh? Playing plus forward and aiming. Exactly this. Okay, so what do you expect from today's games? Avec versus Kula and Rafa versus Dahang? I expect normally Cooler wins Avec, but I really want to Avec wins Cooler. About Dahang Rafa, I've just heard that uh, Cooler will lose all this game except one game against Dahang. Dahang is really in good shape right now, he's just here. And uh, about uh, 12 games, he won 11 games, so I guess it's going to be pretty tough for Rafa. And about Avec Rafa, it's 50 50, so. But I guess Dahang will win Rafa and Cooler will win Avec. But I really want that Avec win Cooler, and I want Dahang win Rafa because. Rafa first again? No, no, please. <laughs> okay, thank you for the show interview and good luck tomorrow. Thank you, good luck you too.